Hello ladies and gentlemen, Paul from HP here with the HP Spectre X360 14. I wanted to give you a bit of a walk around, not so much go through the features and spec, but certainly just show off some of its aesthetic. So the first thing you'll notice about the new HP Spectre X360 14 is of course its CNC machine milled all aluminium body. Unlike other HP products like say Envy, uh, this is actually machined from a block of uh, alloy, not pressed. So it does give you a much uh, sturdier feel in the flesh. Certainly reflects light really beautifully with that sort of gem cut machined edge there. Multi-axis layer that's actually cutting that out, which is really beautiful from HP's design and production team. Uh, if you look at some of the ports, we have Thunderbolt 4 and there's two of them. Of course, the courage to include the headphone jack as well as a micro SD card slot. As a little whiz around the product here, you see some really beautiful Spectre branding on that stainless steel geared hinge and a massive exhaust out the back that really does pump out the heat when it needs to. Of course, with those thermal profile management settings, you can adjust this. That is a stainless steel shrouded hinge there. And uh, of course, you can see the intake at the bottom. This is actually a super large intake. We've got multiple fans working here, ladies and gents. Uh, please ignore that sticker. It is a prototype sticker. Won't be the units you buy and uh, some Bang & Olufsen speakers on the corner there. It's actually a quad speaker notebook, so I'll show the speakers on the inside in a second, but there's two speakers on the bottom. That actually bounces sound off the tabletop up towards the user. Uh, on this side, the HP uh, drop jaw USB is gone. You can actually fit a traditional normal USB port here, so it's that traditional USB-A port, and no more power button on the corner there. Uh, that's actually been removed, or at least in this case, uh, relocated. Uh, just to a spot where it maybe doesn't get in the way. Um, must be fair, I did accidentally tap that quite a few times on my existing Spectre. Uh, what you will notice though, magnetic pen holder. Um, really durable, give it a bit of a shake, doesn't fall away. Um, sits there really nicely. You can see when I um, come in here that it does uh, have some really fine tolerances there to clear the lid. So when you open and close, it doesn't interfere with the pen. This is the new Microsoft Pen Protocol 2.0. It's the new Zenvo pen from HP. Most retailers in this country will be selling this as an optional extra. Uh, some of you just purchase if you want one, but uh, some places do have this included in the box. So just check where you're purchasing yours from and what is uh, gonna come with your device. So let me lay this on the table here and I'll open this up because this is a really impressive display. This is the new three by two aspect ratio. So height of a 15, width of a 13, 20% more vertical viewing space, really built for web, really built for creating as well as consuming some good content. So as you spin it around and, and actually I'll bring it up nice and close. Have a look at how the light just bounces off that milled chassis. And that's actually a glass trackpad as well. So you can see that luminescence there in that slight sort of chamfer to the edge around the track pad. And of course, as that yellow light bounces off those keycaps, nice good amount of keyboard travel here, 1.2 mil, really, really comfortable for long days use. Nice and thin, although that leading edge does taper and bend towards that front. So it does make it look thinner than it actually is. It does have a big all day battery. So we're talking sort of 17 hours on this particular product. Uh, I'll just wake her up a bit here. Um, as I place this down here, what you'll find is that three by two display is giving a really impressive screen to body ratio. We're talking 90 plus percent. So uh, really looks premium, nice little discreet HP four stripe logo in the bottom there, if you can sort of just see that, um, which I think is really beautiful. And of course those Bang and Olufsen speakers up the top there under the tessellation of micro dots arranged in that geometric or, or fractal inspired pattern. Uh, as you open up the, the, the hinges, they've got a slight brushed appearance to them, which is really beautiful. And uh, if we look at the keyboard, you can see your power button there relocated from the corner. Your camera shutter, I mean, it does what you'd expect. You push the button and it turns off your webcam. Uh, and then of course you have things like your microphone uh, mute button. There's mute and there's microphone mute. So you can uh, stop people listening as well as stop the music playing. Uh, and then this one actually has shore view. So it's a, um, essentially a, a privacy screen that I can turn on and off. So you can't really see what we're doing, but not all units will have that. That is an optional extra, so just check yours. And then there's a fingerprint reader. Um, HP have ditched that control key on the right-hand side. I oh, don't know, it's 2020, I'm sure it's gonna offend someone, but nonetheless, uh, great spot for it, I think. Nice and big, um, really good for the Windows Hello functions, as well as for your traditional sort of um, password security and logging in with that one. 
Spectre branding on the inside, along with the Bang & Olufsen branding there. It is a quad speaker Bang & Olufsen product. And if I get nice and close, I don't know if I can gonna pick this up on the camera, um, you will see at the top there, there is uh, a uh, really good quality webcam as well as some stereo mics. So you will get some beam forming and some AI noise cancellation. It's an Intel 11th gen product. Most of these will be Evo certified as well. So you'll see the little stickers down there if it was the non-prototype version like this is, and uh, there you go. Just Spectre X360 14, all day battery, fast charge, milled metal, fast ports, latest 11th gen gear, top end Spectre, magnetic, magnetic pen, what more do you need? There you go.